Shadow Rider Calyrex is back in Regulation G, and this is an absolutely powerful Pokemon. It's insane. And it fills a similar role to another Pokemon that has been extremely popular in Scarlet and Violet, that being Fluttermane. So is this the death of Fluttermane? So basically, right off the rip, I'm going to say the short of it is no, this is not the death of Fluttermane. Shadow Rider is not going to be the end of Fluttermane. Uh, but I want to explain why it is not going to be the death of Fluttermane and why this Pokemon is so good. So first and foremost, Calyrex is just fantastic. It's so fast with 150 base speed and a 165 special attack, which is actually faster than Fluttermane at level 50. So if I max this out and give it a Timid, you are outspeeding the Fluttermane by like almost 20 points, right? So that's incredibly powerful. However, I don't think this is going to be the death of Fluttermane, at least not yet, because of the fact that we can only have one restricted Pokemon per team. Because of this, if you're not using Shadow Rider as your fl uh, like ghost type restricted Pokemon, uh, there's a spot open on that team that Fluttermane just fits into perfectly because you can only have one of these guys and maybe you want to run Groudon, Kyogre, uh, Terrapagos, any of those Pokemon, uh, there's still a beautiful slot sitting there on a team for Fluttermane and for that reason, Fluttermane's not going anywhere and even though Calyrex like plays extremely well into Fluttermane, um, you have access to tools that allow Fluttermane to be able to still be prevalent in the meta specifically looking at things like groudon groudon setting drought is very very good for fluttermane you're able to continue running the choice specs option which a lot of people are opting on non sun teams for like focus ash or something in this format because everything is so powerful uh but on non uh but on sun team specifically you're able to run the choice specs item because you can still rock uh dazzling gleam icy wind shadow ball moon blast that kind of stuff and allow fluttermane to outspeed stuff that's the key component here is if you calc your fluttermane just right with the booster energy uh from the protosynthesis you don't even need to run booster energy but you still outspeed the calyrex which puts you in a very powerful position against this particular pokemon other pokemon you're going to see this pop up with coridon like i mentioned earlier uh sun teams just incredibly good so coridon and groudon are going to be really good for fluttermane and that's still going to pop up but again other restricted pokemon uh kyogre uh looking at terrapagos like uh, just a, a ton of pokemon that pop up in restricted formats still like a fluttermane on the team because fluttermane still hits hard it still hits a lot of pokemon for neutral damage uh it's just still a very good pokemon so i don't think that fluttermane's necessarily going anywhere with calyrex shadow rider being added to the format uh at least right now like i said later down the line when we get double restricted you may see a more significant dip in fluttermane usage strictly because of the fact that you can run calyrex shadow rider with another restricted pokemon and not have to fill that one specific slot on the team with just the calyrex so i could definitely see a dip in fluttermane usage when that comes around but as it sits right now yes calyrex will be a problem for fluttermane but because you can only have one restricted pokemon if you're not running calyrex you're probably going to be running a fluttermane so that's just something to note for this particular pokemon i don't think that calyrex shadow rider as it sits right now is the death of fluttermane but there is just stuff to talk about with calyrex shadow rider because it is so incredibly powerful right so you're typically seeing the signature move astral barrage right very very powerful move 120 base power with 100 accurate spread move very very good especially when you pair it with the ability which is as one which you get the unnerve ability so things like incineroar etc can't eat their berries which is really good and then on top of that you also have the grim nay which is going to boost your special attack each time you ko a pokemon which is incredibly powerful very very good uh ability for this pokemon so it allows calyrex to really snowball and get ahead of the competition very quickly especially depending on what you're seeing on the opposing side of the field now one thing to note is that calyrex shadow rider is going to be running things like astral barrage expanding force depending on if you're running it with an indeedy uh it's a very good size spam user fast size spam is really really powerful especially with that redirection from indeedy definitely something that you're going to see pop up a ton uh it's running terra fairy a lot because it does get access to a lot of good fairy moves whether it be draining kiss terra blast whatever the case may be this pokemon can basically fill that flutter main role very effectively with the terra fairy and it makes a lot of sense for this pokemon now I will say that there are other variations that are popping up of Calyrex Shadow Rider. A lot of them are just going max special attack, max speed, because it just allows you to nuke Pokemon. Keep this in the back. Use something like Tornadus to get Tailwind up 
and then bring in Didi and Shadow Rider in in the late game and you just sweep teams. It's something that you're going to see a ton of because it allows you to just kind of decimate the end game scenario when Calyrex is just outspeeding everything. Very powerful Pokemon for that reason but you are seeing it with other stuff if you're not necessarily running it next to Indeedee because I have seen plenty of Calyrex without Indeedee uh you see stuff like Psyshock uh let's see what other psychic moves it does get access to uh psychic is an option but Psyshock seems to be the thing that I'm seeing pop up the most and then you're seeing Nasty Plot with it as well uh Nasty Plot is another good move you can follow me away with Indeedee or whatever you know if you have a fake out user like Incineroar uh you can fake out get the Nasty Plot up and then do absolutely ridiculous damage and it then pairs very nicely you're already at a plus two and then you knock out a pokemon and you get another plus one with the grim nay ability very very powerful uh form of special attacking offense with calyrex the thing about calyrex though is like despite the fact that it can snowball so incredibly hard it does have a lot of counters specifically because of the fact that this pokemon is incredibly frail much like fluttermane this pokemon dies very very quickly which is good i don't think that's a bad thing i think it makes it a little more balanced i don't think that there is a significant nerf that needs to happen to calyrex yes it is very powerful but a lot of restricted pokemon are very powerful like looking at the other rider for calyrex ice rider is incredibly powerful and has the same snowball-y effect that shadow rider does and I think that for this reason, I don't think that this Pokemon is absolutely out of, uh, I don't think it's absolutely out of this world as far as needing a nerf needs to be changed immediately like Zacian did last generation. Because like we saw, Zacian did get a nerf and Calyrex was left untouched. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think this is totally fine considering how this Pokemon plays and how it actually functions. And like I mentioned, there are Pokemon that are going to be able to outspeed this or deal with this Pokemon very effectively. And we're going to talk about some of those Pokemon here in a second. So yeah, you're seeing this next to like, uh, Indeedee is a very common one. Another one that's popping up a lot is Chi Yu. Chi Yu's actually really good next to this, mainly because of the Beads of Ruin ability. You're lowering that special defense even more, allowing Calyrex to just kind of go nuts um, and do tons of damage. I think you'll actually see a fair bit of Grimmsnarl pop up next to this. Uh, Grimmsnarl with the ability to set the screens and allow Calyrex to have a little bit more bulk is a really solid thing for Calyrex, giving it that opportunity to just put out more damage and get that nasty plot up, do things of that nature, gonna really allow Calyrex to be that very dominant threat in the format. So I think Grimmsnarl makes a lot of sense. Again, I think Chiyu and Indeedee are going to be like your bread and butter. Um, and you're going to see it on a lot of hyper offense teams. Going to be like running next to Torn with uh, Indeedee, Chiyu. I've even seen some Iron Bundle pop up next to this thing. And that makes a lot of sense because you don't necessarily have to rely on Tornado's Tailwind for the speed control. You can actually just go in for Icy Winds with Booster Energy Bundle and then be able to allow Calyrex to outspeed so many things. And you allow the rest of your team to outspeed so many things with the Iron Bundle very powerful combination i've actually played this myself it's very fun and then you compare this with iron bundle and chiyu which is a really solid combination uh it gives you freeze dry capabilities hydro pump into incineroar things like that it's a really powerful uh trio of pokemon here so this is something that you're going to see pop up quite a bit and again calyrex very powerful snowbally but there are counterplay specifically it's one of its best partners chiyu is one of the best counters to this right Chi Yu is absolutely nuts as far as a Snarl user that can just kind of uh, mitigate the Calyrex and do super effective damage into the Calyrex as well. You're four times weak to Dart. So if you can force the Terra on another Pokemon and then have Chi Yu to be able to Snarl the Calyrex, you're going to do a ton of damage to that Calyrex. And Calyrex uh, doesn't have a ton of moves that hit very powerfully into a Chi Yu unless you are running like that Terra Blast or that Draining Kiss because you ignore Psychic abilities. You're uh, resistant to the Ghost type abilities. Um, very powerful Pokemon into the Calyrex. And that's why you see a lot of Calyrex actually running Clear Amulet because Snarl is such a good counter to Calyrex that you're able to kind of slow that Pokemon down so much and do so much damage because it's not that bulky with a Snarl that uh, Calyrex really has to be careful. And I, I have seen a lot of clear amulet for that particular Pokemon for that specific reason. Another Pokemon, Incineroar, staple on so many teams, right? Incineroar plays fantastically into Calyrex. You're able to knock off, you're able to uh, parting shot it, you're able to just kind of slow that Pokemon down in ways that you know a lot of other pokemon can't because we don't have a special attack oriented intimidate ability 
uh incineroar is a really solid option for dealing with calyrex especially if you do get it to terrestrialize you're able to fake it out later very powerful pokemon into that and again the knockoff is so so good into calyrex very nice other pokemon that are going to be good and a lot of uh pokemon that you know just all of these that i'm about to list play into so effectively um things like mian Xiao um this thing is going to be a good partner not only for calyrex but also it's a good uh counter to calyrex right uh so things that make this so good it does get access to fake out which is fantastic it does get close combat um it does get wide guard which is the key component here wide guard is going to be so good in regulation g wide guard is just going to be incredibly powerful because of the fact that there are so many spread moves looking at things like calyrex ice rider calyrex shadow rider uh groudon kyogre so many of these pokemon have spread moves that do a ton of damage so you having a wide guard user on your team is so important because you're able to have that counterplay and you can catch opponents off guard and make them go do i want to click this move or do i want to click this less powerful move that is going to do damage still but not to the same degree and give you that opportunity for counterplay and i think mian Xiao fits that incredibly well it, again it pairs fantastically next to calyrex um you're able to like i think it gets helping hand as well yes it does uh helping hand this is basically what you're seeing with like a focus sash on this thing running next to calyrex because you're able to wide guard away attacks that would be problematic for you and just do a ton of damage so really really good pokemon uh to deal with opposing stuff uh i also think that calyrex shadow rider really struggles into the trick room matchup and you're gonna see a lot of ice rider trick room ice rider again another fantastic pokemon that just does a ton of damage it snowballs very quickly and it is very very scary once the trick room goes up because it has such fantastic natural bulk you really do not have to invest in a ton of bulk on this pokemon and you're able to just tank hits this thing is very difficult to get rid of and very very powerful so for that reason if the trick room goes up you do have a lot of issues with this pokemon because it's so incredibly fast it is definitely something that you have to keep your eye on so calyrex is another fantastic option for dealing with those uh shadow uh, ice rider is specifically very good for dealing with the other calyrex shadow rider uh because trick room plays so phenomenally into it uh but as far as other wide guard users that are really good uh Gallade actually really solid right now i think Gallade is still it showed up a lot in regulation f and i still think it's very good on trick room teams because it does get access to that wide guard which is so good I think Gallade is just fantastic. Give it like a Razor Claw or you could even give it a White Herb um, because you can avoid the Intimidate from Incineroar that way. And a lot of the moves that you're running on Gallade have a high crit chance. So giving it either the Razor Claw or allowing you to use the White Herb to avoid those Intimidates is very, very powerful for this Pokemon. And I think it's incredibly solid in that regard. Uh, I think you will see some Pelipper pop up, honestly. Even though we have Kyogre, I still think that Pelipper is really solid as a Wide Guard user. I think this is something that you're going to see a fair bit pop up um and just any of these wide guard pokemon that are super super good what are their wide guard users uh zamazenta specifically is a really solid one uh for wide guard users uh you're able to get the iron defense up and make this basically a wall that is very difficult to break through uh and then you have you know your body press uh you could do you know iron head or something else and then have your wide guard this pokemon is incredibly difficult to break um especially a lot of them are running like Terra water very very difficult for uh, a lot of pokemon to break through the zamazenta uh and for the wide guard reason it's a very powerful pokemon it's actually seen a fair bit of play here in regulation g so far uh so i think that's another really solid option so again despite the fact that calyrex shadow rider is such a powerful pokemon it's so easy to snowball with this pokemon it is incredibly frail and very easy to just kind of remove from play or mitigate to some fashion whether it be with a wide guard user trick room setup whatever the case may be you're able to allow this pokemon to just kind of be dealt with and i'm a huge fan of that particular instance very very big fan of that so i do think calyrex is good but there are counter plays into the meta and i think this is a pokemon you'll just need to keep your eye on because it's going to be very popular throughout regulation g but that's going to be it for the video let me know your thoughts in the comments below on calyrex shadow rider is it too powerful is it not powerful enough let me know but that is it sub if you're not already and if you want to share reg g teams that'll be featured in future videos be sure to check out the discord but until next time peace